Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. And I hope you're doing great. I hope you had a great week. And you're making some great plans for coming into Q3, which is, wow, in a couple of days here. What is the first is, I think it's Monday, right? And then we celebrate in U.S. here, 4th of July. And I think over in Canada, they're selling, celebrating Canada Day. Independence, right? Independence and freedom from anything that you want for anything that you want to live any way that you want and have the greatness that's inside of you. And I hope that you get this process as you come into Q3, quarter three of this year. And it's uh, and it's something to really consider. You know, the last few days and maybe the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about the fundamentals, the basics, uh, touching on some things. Yesterday, I talked about asking questions, and uh, we're going to talk about some great things in the coming weeks here um, for you guys. But I want I want to set a foundation for you guys uh, today that um, something I learned a long, long, long time ago, and I want to kind of share it with you that uh, part of this came from my father and and part of his life and things that he always shared and and I made a list of some things to to kind of work within and, and I kind of articulated this uh, in my world and I want to share with you and you know at the end of the day ever since people have been uh, able to communicate they've compiled words to live by and those words, thus for them, became what we call today anchors. And they, they're anchors in our mindset. You know, like an anchor holds down, holds down something, like a boat, as an example. Uh, but if you think about it, even the, with the best of intentions, uh, the world in and of itself is not overly perfect. But it is what it is. And I want you to take note here of some of these words that I wrote down and I want you to take a look at them and I want you to ask yourself every single day in every way possible in the next 90 days coming up here and going on for the rest of the year and the rest of your career and the rest of your life and see if you're playing in any of these pools here and perfect as our lives might seem and the things the that we have experienced or, or we are experiencing, or we will experience in our lives, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of those factors, okay? What words can we live by that if we anchor them into our business, into our lives, into our mindset, how much more powerful can we really be? By any stretch of the imagination, there's probably a hundred more words that are comparable. I would agree with that. But these are eight words that I want to share with you today and to contemplate for the moment. But I want you to write them down and then ask yourself every single day at the beginning and at the end of your day. On a scale of one to ten, how were you with these words? The first one is honesty. The second word is workmanship. The third word is ambition. Number four is faith. Five is education. Six is charity. Seven is responsibility. And number eight is courage. And you know, guys, as I was saying, you know, chances that uh, chances are that over seven and a half billion people in our world uh, won't agree to live their lives by these words that I just shared with you. But think how much better. I want you to put this in some perspective in here, in, in perspective for yourself, in introspection, if you will. Okay, but I want you to think how much better your life would be if just one person does. 
again, of over the 7 billion people in this world that won't agree to live their lives by these words. But think how much better your life would be if you, if just one person does. And who's that person? It is you. So, with these eight words, these eight concepts that you, uh, that it is here for you, okay, and all the good advice to live your life productive, uh, productive and, and exciting and enthusiastic and rewarding and satisfying, I want to go through these words with you so you can write them down and articulate them every single day in your life, okay? And as I said, the first word was honesty, which obviously means being honest in everything that you do or you say. Uh, every, it's, and, and it's a way of life, okay? It's a matter of having integrity. There's no need to go outside of that level in your life and hold on to that integrity. It's, it's, if it isn't honest, it won't have any, I won't have anything to do with it. It's not the right thing to do. It's not telling people the truth and telling them that. What would you want me to do? Tell you the truth or tell you what you want to hear? They say, well, tell me what I want to hear. I can't do that. I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. Honesty. Number one, workmanship is not made. It's not a, it's not, it's not a male or female thing, uh, even though it contains the word man in it. Okay. It's not what that's about. Um, it means doing your job as well as you can do it without becoming obsessed with it in a way that you're neurotic about it, okay? At the end of the day, guys, it's the kind of work, okay, that one expects from a top professional. It's doing the, it's, 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 it comes down to becoming that person who does their work and one that is expected by a top professional in their field. Everything I do, everything I do, I will do to the very best of my ability. Everything I do, I will do to the very best of my ability. Okay, workmanship. The next word, ambition, is a very good thing. Okay, it's important. It means striving towards something that we believe as being worthwhile. Okay? It's something that we believe as being worthwhile. It's not enough to just say, well, I'm just going to do it just for the sake of making money or because somebody told me that, I'm, uh, that I should do that. Okay? Ambition keeps us on our journeys while at the same time it makes our journeys interesting. When you have ambition, it's in your heart of hearts. And it will help you to fulfill your role in this world. And the journey that you will take will be better than the accomplishment that you get. The result, the outcome. Okay, Ambition is the desire to do something. And, as, and human beings that do their very best really enjoy what they do and succeed at what you're doing. And then move on to the next ambition. So you have your ambition. What is in your heart? What is in your soul? What is in your blood? Okay? And work on that. And you're going to find that your journey, the good, the bad, the ugly, the ups, the downs, the ins, the outs, are going to be more interesting than anything. Yes, you're going to have your challenges. You're going to go through all of those things sometimes. But at the end of the day... If you got a strong ambition for something, hey, what's going to happen? You're going to have an interesting experience, one that you will enjoy whether you know it or not. It's very cool, okay? Now, for the next one, faith. Now, what is faith? We could talk about it all day long, obviously, okay? But faith makes everything work, and faith in ourselves is what we believe in is the driving power of our ambition. I'm going to repeat that. 
Faith makes everything work and faith in ourselves. Write that down. Faith in ourselves is what we believe in is the driving power of our ambition. The next word, and this one I love without question, is education. A, a, and this is a pretty big word, okay? And it means many things to many different people in all facets of our lives. And certainly, by no stretch of the imagination, is it to limit it to schooling, okay? You know, K through 12, college, university, PhDs, etc. Although it's important, okay? I will never say that it's not important to do that. But the better our education, the broader, the more comprehensive our knowledge, okay? The better our education, the broader, the more comprehensive our knowledge is, the better, the richer, the more interesting our lives will become. And the more we'll understand the true meaning of the words we are going through today. In all of these eight words. And keep in mind, guys, education is a never-ending process in our lives. The minute you stop learning is the minute you stop growing. So, a very, very important and powerful word that it's ongoing. It's not that you learn something and, wow, I got it, I got it figured out. There's more to it than just what you just experienced. So, continue to educate. The next word, charity, which is obviously a lot more than giving to your local charity, the United Way, the homeless, all, all of those things. It's all a part of it, without question. But it's having an attitude, okay? It's having an attitude of charity. Understanding that the more we share, the more we get. The more we share, the more we get. The more you reach out and do more than what you're expected to get paid for, that's true charity. If you go above and beyond the call of duty without the expectation of compensation for something, that's charity. And it's a way to help others, lift them up, a word of encouragement, a helping hand, a phone call, something that is, 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 is going to drive to help somebody else, an experience that you've had that you want to share with the world. Charity is not just giving money to your church, although, as I said, it's important, and you should if that's what you want to do. But it's more than just that. Everybody around you, as they say, it's helping the elderly person across the street, is charity. Saying thank you for the hard work that you do is giving charity. And compensating people with that understanding and giving them, when that's compensation, you're compensating people because you're giving them more than they expected. It's a very, very powerful thought to live by. And then the last two words, responsibility, means responsibility for ourselves and our lives. And one thing they say in, in psychology is when, you, when it comes down to it, the two great words are, the three great words, I am responsible. And if something is wrong in our lives, chances are we're a big part of the problem. And all we have to simply do is just accept responsibility. We have to accept responsibility for where we are, for where we are thinking we should be, where we are not, etc. Just take responsibility. And then the last word, guys, as we wind this down today, as you get into your weekend, and that is the word courage, which means it turns any darkness that might be in front of you into a bright opportunity for you and problems that you might be facing into possibilities. It is the willingness to step out of your box and do the thing that you might fear most. It's having the courage to make the call. It's having the courage to follow up. It's having the courage to be charitable. It's having the courage to be a person of great education. It's having a courage to have faith. 
It's having the courage to be ambitious in your life. It's having the courage to be honest. It's having the courage to do the very, very best in your work, in your workmanship, and you're proud of that. Guys, think about this for today. Go back in your world, write down these eight words that I hope will empower you every single day. And just simply get at it. Go make it happen. Write these words down, as I said. Scale them out. Look at them in the morning and ask yourself, am I doing the very best I can? Do I have faith? Am I learning? And do I have responsibility? Am I being courageous? Write these down on a scale of 1 to 10. And then in the afternoon or before you go to sleep at night, see how you did. And watch what will change in your world. Guys, listen. Go make it a great weekend. I'm going to be hitting you guys up with some thoughts next week. I'm going to be traveling a little bit. But these huddles, as you know, don't go away. Okay? And we're going to have some great things coming up. But I want you to seriously think about Q3. And what do you want to achieve? What do you want to, what do you want to win in the next three months for yourself? The next 90 days. Okay? What do you have to do to make that happen? Forgetting about the past experiences that you had except to learn from them and then put yourself in a position to let's win at the highest level that we can in the next 90 days. All right. In the meantime, go make it a great day. If we don't talk to you next week, for whatever reason, you're not on these calls, you're not listening because you're on the holiday of the 4th of July. Have fun. I know I'm going to have some fun myself. But I'm here for you and anything that you need. Make sure you get to realprofitbuilders.com. Listen to this recording and all of the other ones. You need anything, reach out. Hey, I'm here to help. Mike at mikehusson.com. Go make it a great day. We will talk to you Monday.